Hey everyone, it's Linnea. Big exciting news. Today is the release day for LDRS Creative's summer collection. So I'm going to show you how I used a couple of the new background impression press and foil plates to create a two for one technique. I'm going to use the braided waves impression press plate along with the new wallflower press plate. Both of these are large enough to cover an A2 card completely and the braided waves I will use to show that and then the the wallflower I'll show you how to press that into a full panel but I'm actually going to be chopping that in half to create two cards out of one panel. Now something that's important to mention is that these are impression plates. These are not your regular traditional wafer thin dies. These are thicker. So you do need to have a specialized platform to use these plates. I'm using the Better Press system by Spellbinders, and I will be using this platform in my regular Spellbinders die cutting machine, but please note that I am using the specialized platform that is designed to be used with these impression plates. I am not going to be using these plates with my regular cutting plate dies. So to start off with, I have an A2 cotton watercolor panel from LDRS Creative. This paper is absolutely phenomenal. It's thick and the fibers allow the press plates to really press into this paper and you'll get a fabulous impression every time. I've lined that up with some tape on the top of my Better Press platform. I've lined it up with the A2 grid marks and I put the wallflower press plate lining that up with the grid marks on that magnetic base. I inked that up with Raven Hybrid Ink, which is LDRS Creative's dark black ink. I put that top plate on, ran that through, and now check this out. I have this whole pattern pressed into my paper. Now, you can add your tape to the back of the cardstock doing that little rolling method, but I didn't think to do that. So all I did was grab a pen, a black pen, and just kind of fill in any of the little lines that may have pressed into my tape instead of into my background. Now we're gonna do this again, but this time I have switched out that wallflower background for the braided waves background. I have an A2 piece of cardstock already taped onto the top of my platform, and I'm inking this up with Alloy Hybrid Ink, which is a gray ink. I'm gonna run this through and look at this gorgeous background. I love doing this with different colors and you can even do it with gold. You can press this into dark colored cardstock if you want. I wanted to create this just a little bit darker. So I went ahead and I inked up that plate and ran it through again. And as long as you don't move anything, as long as you keep your tape in your, uh, your paper taped to the top of the platform and you don't move your press plate, you can re-ink this and you'll be good to go. I did that braided waves background twice, but I only did this wallflower background once. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna be cutting this wallflower background and creating a two for one technique with this. Now this is the hardest part of this whole card, the coloring. And I kept my coloring quite simple. I'm using my Copic markers and just a few different markers for each color blend. So I think I have a dark green and a light green, and that's it, I didn't do a whole lot of blending and I'm just gonna go through and color this image. One thing I do wanna mention, LDRS Creative does a great job about adding colored inspiration on the reverse side of the packaging. So make sure you keep your packaging. I like to have mine sitting right next to me as I work. That way I can look at the design on the back of the packaging and figure out exactly where I'm supposed to color, especially on busy backgrounds like this, where the leaves and the flowers overlap each other. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't coloring a flower green or a leaf purple, so I kept that next to me the whole time that I colored. So I have all those leaves done, and now I'm going to go ahead and color in the flowers. And I'm doing a multicolored flower background. I have some pinks, some blues, some yellows, and some purples, and I'm just gonna color, just like if I was coloring a regular stamped image. Nothing too fancy. I like to start with my dark color and then blend out to my light, but if you prefer to go light to dark and then back down to your light, any coloring method will work. Just color however you were taught and however you're most comfortable coloring. All right, so I took my time, I finished coloring, and here is my completed panel. I love all those colors of flowers in the background. It's so pretty, and this would create a gorgeous background pattern if you wanted to keep it a full plate. 
but I decided to go ahead and I chopped this panel right in half and then I did trim a little bit more off. So I believe this actually measures two and a half inches tall. I cut some thin strips of black cardstock and I'm going to put that right at the top of that wallflower pattern just to give the eye a break. I like to do this whenever you're transitioning in between patterns. I like to have just a solid line and it helps make it easier for your eyes. I have those two braided waves background panels, added those the wallflower right at the bottom, and now I just need a sentiment. So I went to one of my favorite LDRS Creative sentiment die sets, and these are the Simply Word dies. I'm going to grab the word thanks, cut that from black cardstock. I cut each one three times, stacked them on top of each other, and then I added them to the right-hand side of my card. And just like that, I have a great two-for-one technique where I colored the one panel, cut it in half, and was able to make two quick and easy cards. And the dimension and texture on both of these cards is absolutely amazing. It's so hard for the camera to pick up the detail and the, the, the impressions that these press plates give, but it really is so pretty. And I hope that you enjoyed these projects as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching. All these products are linked in the video description below. I'll see you again soon. Bye.